right, you raging homosexuals. We're back. We're back. And currently, it appears that another PlayStation state of play has released recently. So I, I decided that we're going to watch it. Now, some of the games that they're addressing here, like Astrobot, has already come out. So, oh gosh, and then Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, F my life. Alan Wake 2? Oh yeah, for the, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's start this homosexual nonsense. Astrobot was a pretty decent game, by the way. It wasn't too bad. Hell divers, okay. Really? So they're adding some online game modes to this game? That, that'll be kind of cool. Yeah, Astrobot seems like a good game overall. And I guess they're continuing some development, so that might be really nice. Oh, uh, Eve? They put Eve in this game? What the frick? So... Okay. By the way, where the freak is my shower scene for freaking Eve, huh? Hi everyone. In, in the freaking I'm game, where's my shower scene? Give Eve a freaking shower scene. Asobi, and to see how much joy Astro is bringing to homes all around the world. On behalf of Team Asobi, thank you so much. Now, we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at the DLC. I'm, I'm going to speed this up. Cost. We'll have more to share soon. There's Before no that, reason to be here, to you know, for a long time, so... Let's just get through it. Yep. Listen to me, burnt one. If you don't do the walk and midnight walk, you better be sure to keep your spark safe and burning. While I was in the black, I had a midnight walk. Okay. It was a monster in the woods. And all you do, like Oh, this reminds me of uh Caroline. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so that we understand a little bit more what they're saying. Uh, I hate this kind of art design. Oh, thank you for that. I was about to get freaking destroyed, son. I was about to get absolutely annihilated. So this is a weird kind of like, I guess, Caroline game, right? Or, um, uh, I mean, that's pretty much what it is, yeah. I guess it's kind of like Little Nightmares or whatever the frick. One other thing things like that. Uh oh. True, no, matter no race, stop. Gender, ethnicity, the oh. need to screen when do. We're calling cancer a priority. Oh my god. Dude, is that like a freaking woke ad? Jeez Louise. Make it stop. I'm, I'm so freaking fed up with this trash. I'm so fed up with it. Freaking multiculturalism. All this freaking dog trash. Fed up with it. So annoying. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. And took him away. Man, I'm so done with this nihilistic, post-apocalyptic kind of stuff. She said the country was sick, but we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They lived inside our heads. What the frick? No. 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 I'm so done with freaking liberalism. I'm I'm done. I don't I don't nah, don't care. 
This was totally, by the way, this is absolutely inspired by Death Stranding. You can just tell. How is it so easy to just tell? <laughs> My story is a tale of rules rewritten by nuclear fire. Oh, hey, Serda. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She's in no state to be wandering out in the metro alone. I need to go after her. Well, she's a woman, so female decision making, my friend. Please, oh, dear God. God. What is that? We keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people yeah, I played a... Oh, no. What? Did you not hear any no. Uh-uh. I, okay, I played some of the other Metro games. Here we go. Here we go. Clown Worlds. Let's go. Let's see it. Just let Yana be all right. What is that? I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. Are there women? Female mercenaries? Post-apocalyptic? Oh my gosh. Listen, man. I get it, there's a bunch of freaking soy boy freaking cuck losers out there. They don't understand the difference between men and women. I don't need to say anything though. For those who have not lost their minds yet, I don't need to say anything that this is freaking ridiculous. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Ridiculous. That there would ever be female mercenaries. Ridiculous. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes we need to become the thing we fear to prevent something worse. All right, so, I'm just gonna freaking say it, man. Bring us back to freaking bigotry. Bring us back to it. Bring us back to when we were insensitive towards every group. I am so fed up with this pussified nonsense where no one is offensive any longer, where no one is problematic. I am sick and tired of this freaking dog trash where we cannot, for whatever reason, we have to keep on making these stories that are not freaking, as we like to now call it nowadays, small-minded, close-minded, narrow-minded, and bigoted, all right? Bring it back. I'm freaking fed up. I'm done with this freaking liberal horse crap, man. It's all freaking, it's uninspired. It sucks dog trash. And let's just face it, freaking liberalism, egalitarianism is a freaking joke. It's a freaking lie. And all it, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, how does it feel? Ah, uh, yeah, screw it, bro. It, it, it doesn't work. It does not work. No one enjoys it. Nobody likes it. It freaking sucks. You, what you are doing. Oh my gosh. Man, we talked about this so many times before in the past. But what you are effectively doing, you are purchasing people's kindredness. Let's just call it that. All right? Their kindness, whatever you want to say. You are purchasing people's cooperation. When you do not have a shared nationality within a country, then no one has a shared symmetry to one another that therefore creates a synergy, a uniformity that a country needs, that a civilization, a people need. You need familiarity to breed uniformity. If you have no uniformity, you have no familiarity. If you do not have these things, you do not have unity. If you do not have unity, a society fails. It falls apart. This has happened all throughout history. It doesn't matter how many freaking EBT, freaking diversity hires, want to sit there and tell you it's a different way, that the reality is some other freaking spin of the dice. No, it's not. It is this simple. You bring in people from other backgrounds into your country and you are killing what nationality means in your country, what patriotism means. So when the day comes that you fight for anything for your fellow man, there's nothing left to fight for because you sacrificed everything that there ever was to fight for. You sacrificed all of it. And there's nothing any longer left for you to fight for. There is no good in egalitarianism. It is a lie. It is spindled generation after generation to get you fed into, bought into a lie 
that destroys your civilization across generations, not one. Although it can do one generation, but typically, throughout history, it typically corrodes your civilization across multiple generations so you don't see the results right away you have to learn the truth about the night sky tragedy long ago you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay in ruins and yet you have been granted another chance and it was kind of awesome when we did that in Aurora, it must be the will of your beloved mother goddess oh my gosh so we're doing another MMO. Man, nah, dude. MMOs are just time sinks. Like, come on, man. Is, is it really worthwhile to make MMOs? Nah. No. Nah. I still have no trust in your kind. It looks good. The animations look kind of good, but you know, they're doing a lot of fast cuts. So we're not really getting a good look. So I'm, I'm I, I kind of have my, uh, my doubts about this game because of that. I mean, it looks cool. Wait, have I played a game like this? I think I have. It looks cool, but again, I, I just. I don't want to waste my time, and I don't really know how much there really is to this game, either. Prove yourself. If you survive this trial... Okay, here's something good I'm noticing. It's a lot of white people, okay? A lot of white people. I don't know if there's any melanated people all across this game but so far i'm seeing a lot of white people here so maybe we're finally getting another game about white people um we're not getting a lot of those especially recently but um you know we've gotten a few games like the first descendant is overwhelmingly white people um there's a couple of other games i i can't really remember i i guess uh stellar blade yeah um, for the most part, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So, we've been getting a few games, not a whole lot, but... I, I guess we're kind of... And then, uh, Claire Obscure, that's another game that's going to be coming out sometime in the future. And it's a game that seems to have, if not exclusively, uh, mostly white people. So, okay, good. So, we're finally getting games... Again, that are that that have a lot of white demo. Well, a white demographic. We need to just have games with only white people. Make a story built around that. That's all we need. Um, and you can make your other games for the other groups. But love of God, that we we need white people stuff again. Stop eradicating it. Of course, uh, uh I well wait. Uh, Stellar Blade was like American Japanese though. That's kind of what it was, but it was a mixture of Japanese American, right? So, anyway, it, it's not exactly white people stuff, but it's like on the border of white people stuff. Um. Anyways, we just we need to go back to white entertainment. We need to go back to white stories and white narratives again. Uh, Anglo-Saxon stuff. We need that once more. And we need to stop freaking culture washing. Again, the, the freaking Wokies, bro, or whoever else. Uh, what, most of the time it's woke, but... You know, they can make their freaking crap. They can make their freaking diversity stuff. But you've got to... Do, do that stuff with your own freaking money, your own little freaking time. And stop hijacking freaking properties. Right now, we're seeing a lot of properties get hijacked. Like, for instance, right? Assassin's Creed. We've seen uh, The Witcher has gotten hijacked. Uh, Lord of the Rings has been hijacked. Star Wars. So many things have been hijacked. Enough, man. Enough is a freaking enough. 
again, like, go make your own freaking crap. And, and, like, it can be all black people. Who cares? But it's just stop hijacking white people stuff and stop making it so that there's only freaking melanated people stuff. It, it's freaking annoying. And quite frankly, nobody wants it. For the most part. Uh... Anyway, I'm not even, I don't even care. I don't even care about that conversation. I just want white people stuff. That's all I want. Love of God. I don't care about the other side of the argument. They can go figure out their own crap. Just stop freaking hijacking stuff and quit trying to eradicate any new properties that are white people stuff. I literally could not care less about the other side of the argument. Like, I don't care if they get games. I don't care if they don't get games, you know? It literally doesn't matter to me. All I care about is that we just get white people products again and the other side can go figure out how they're going to get their stuff. But by the way, stop taking taxpayer dollars to make your freaking diversity games. Just freaking stop. Learn and figure out a way to financially mobilize your diversity crap. Figure out a way, but stop taking people's money, the, like the freaking communist, socialist, fascist that you are, s quit taking people's money. Just freaking figure it out and do it on your own. I'm, I'm so freaking fed up with this, that right now, you have so many taxpayers from different countries, specifically the United States, who are getting freaking embezzled so that we fund a bunch of diversity people freaking games. And by the way, let's be very clear about this, United States of America, is a white country. It is an Anglo-Saxon country. That was the foundation of the country. That was the intention of the country. The media for America should be white person media. Jeez Elise, if you want freaking black people stuff so much, go to Africa, go talk to some freaking Nigerian prince who's eating his relative and, and, and ask him, hey, you wanna make a movie? And then ha go make a freaking movie. Oh, but we're not doing that for some reason. I wonder why. Wonder why. Meanwhile, we're freaking sending over their freaking criminals, you know, to a bunch of countries. And right now, America. Fre freaking dog crap, man. Again, I'm so fed up with this freaking multiculturalism nonsense. I'm fed up with it. I don't care for it. I'm not interested in it. And quite frankly, no one cares about it. Let's just be honest. Not even the liberals care about it because they always run away. Whenever they muck up wherever they live, they always run away. Well, you guys voted for all this crap. Why aren't you living around it? You always run away when you get everything that you voted for. Clown world, man. Absolute clown world. I, I, I'm just, I'm completely beside myself. Um, and this conversation can just keep going. So I'm just going to honestly, I'm going to put a cap on it here so that we continue with this. But I'm just so freaking sick and tired of it. It, it, it. Again, like, I just want white people stuff again. Uh, that's all I want. And, um... I'm so fed up with all these, oh, you know, okay, but that was one point I was getting to. You have so many people that make these arguments like, oh, well, you know, we, we're we okay with a little bit of, like, diversity stuff. No, just stop. No no one cares about it. And again, you're, you're saying this uh, as an American. You're saying this as an American. Your bloodline is filled. It's littered with Anglo-Saxons. That is the basis of... Of America as a country. There is no excuse to be like, oh, you know, we should have a bunch of diversity people in freaking American media. No, that's not what America is. And again, so many people argue for things they don't even believe in and they don't even want. One more time, so many people, they argue for things they do not even believe in and things that they do not even want. It's freaking clown world, man. Again, no one wants this. Nobody wants diversity in their freaking films. What do Americans want, for instance, in their products, in their media? They want white people in their products and in their media. They're sick and tired of sharing their country with a bunch of minorities. They're sick and tired of it because you bring all these people in and then everyone wants to make a, up a freaking argument about why we need more diversity in all of our freaking products. Well, I don't see anyone walking into freaking India 
And then once they've walked into India, everyone's talking about, oh, well, you know, we need more Muslims in our Indian uh, films, or we need more Europeans in our Indian films. Why is Bollywood, why are there so many Indians in Bollywood? That's kind of messed up, bro. Why do Indians have so many Bollywood actors and actresses? And it's just, it's a bunch of Indian people. Where's all the, I don't know, the white people. That's really strange. We need more diversity in Bollywood. Oh, that's right. No one cares. Nobody cares. Oh, and what what about Korean films? What about what about these other countries? Why don't we talk about diversity in these other countries? Oh, that's right, because no one is invading these other countries. No one is just spilling in and saying, Hi there, you're American? I'm American now. I walked across your border. I'm American now. How about you consider me as a citizen? No. Screw you, get out of here. No. I'm going to stay. I'm American now. Then you get these other effing clowns who are citizens. You know, you think. No, they're anti-patriots. Anyway, they sit there and they're like, yeah, they're American now. They walked across the border. They're American now. You get this freaking dog crap that's going on where we just, we dilute and we water down what is a culture and what is their media. Now we've gotten to a point where we have no idea what an American is. Your freaking dog is American now. That's the reality of modern day. Even your dog has a citizenship as a freaking American, and yes, it's voting for Kamala. This is freaking clown world. It's been a freaking enough. And again, you're watching an entire country. They're sharing their society, their country, with other people who are not of their ancestry. This is foolish. This is nonsense. And again, again, this is a separate point than what I'm making, but I will say this. It's never worked in history. I don't care how many people want to say, well, we can make it work. Don't care. You don't even want it to work. Let's just face it. So many freaking libtards and conservatards will make these arguments that they don't even believe in. Well, we should try to make multiculturalism work. You don't even believe in it. You don't even want it. How many freaking liberals, they go out of their way to go live around a bunch of freaking, well, okay, specifically white liberals, they go out of their way to live around a bunch of freaking white people. How many of them try to do that? And then they go around trying to preach to other people about this thing and that thing about what it is that you should want and like you should have these ethics and how dare you, you're such a bigot. I'm just, man, I'm fed up with these freaking clowns telling us how we need to look at the world, how we need to live life and specifically how we need to justify to ourselves the death of a nation. Let's be very clear about this. America is a white nation. Very soon now, America will no longer exist. The Constitution already doesn't exist. Nobody honors it. And gee, I wonder why. And I, gee, I wonder why the more diverse a freaking country gets, specifically America, we look at how the Constitution progressively, the more the country diversifies, the less that the Constitution matters. Again, that's just one facet. There's so many other problems. And at the end of the day, this is what Americans want, white people media. That's what they want. That was when we were going through the golden age of American media anyways, was when it was all white people stuff. Hot white chicks with humongous breasts or just slim bodies, whatever, you know, slim bodies and or humongous breasts. Hot chicks everywhere, white chicks everywhere. Nowadays, we have to have these disgusting androgynous, racially androgynous blobs of human creation waddling around on freaking screen as our freaking, our actors, well, specifically our actresses, and then some of them are actors, but you know, not really. Anyway, now we just have disgusting people. For our video game characters, we've seen this recently with games like Concord, but don't worry, there's many other games that many people have forgotten about that are just like Concord. This freaking nonsense, it's just enough. It, you know, it's so disrespectful. It just... Oh my gosh. What, what the frick are we doing, man? What the frick are we doing? You know, again, walk into India, and all of a sudden you're saying to Indians, um... 
yeah, you guys, um, you need to do more white people stuff or Asian stuff. There's too many Indians in your Indian products. That's just weird. What the frick? Again, or, or walk into freaking Japan and say there's too many Japanese people in their Japanese media. I mean, come on, man. What the frick are we doing here? And this is exactly what's happened in America, is that you have a bunch of people, they walk into your country, and then they say, you need to now represent me. Well, why? It, we, we don't even want you here. And you just freaking, you stroll on in, and then you want everyone to represent you. Freaking A. So anyways, this seems to be white people stuff, um, as far as I can tell. Now, I don't know if it's really that creatively thought out, but like, again, man, let's just be very clear about this. A story means nothing without a racial basis to the story. If your story has no racial history, who are the people? What is their background? What is their culture? What do they come from? And then you immerse that world into a fantasy, right? Into you, you make the mundane, the, the fantastical. That's kind of what storytelling overall, that's what it is. And liberals are such freaking retards, dude. It's so unbelievable. They'll sit there and they'll... It just feels stupid even saying it because it is stupid. Why am I... Why do I even have to like... No, no, you screw it. You know what I'm about to say. If they, what they do is that they grasp at freaking straws and they're like, you're willing to believe in this one fantasy thing, but what about this other thing that we want it to be fantasy? They have no idea. Okay, yeah, go do that. Go do that with your freaking crappy uh, fan fiction novels. Go do it. But no one wants to pay money for it. Why? Because it's not rooted within reality. The only way that you can create any media that people want to purchase with money for is by doing what you must be rooted within reality okay actually sorry first first and foremost you must be immersed in order to be immersed you must be predicated within reality and then because of that you actually have something that people see value in and they will purchase to come see now what is so great about fantasy is the fact that we make the mundane we make it fantastical it's not making the retarded, it's not making the lame, it's not making the disabled fantastical. No one cares about that. Well, you could do, there are stories for that, you know, in some sense, but that's not what people are going out of their way for. Anyways, it's okay, but that's not even, there's many layers, many ways to approach that whole conversation. That it's one. That's one way, but there's other ways. So anyway, it's just retarded. It's a retarded conversation. How, really the question is, how are you so stupid that you don't even get it? You're so stupid, you don't even get what people want to see. And you sit there and you make up what people want to see. No, you cannot coerce it. Again, people want to see the mundane, the normative. They want to see the, uh, uh, the common. And they want to see it turned fantastical. And we also want to see things that are intriguing, that are exotic. We want to see things that feel or look or are new. We want to see something that is ingenious. But also you want to see what is common, what is normative. You want to see those things made fantastical. And that's what so many stories, that's what they used to do. You know, it used to be a story about, you know, a guy, he's a banker and then he, um, or an accountant or whatever. Right. And then he, he ends up being hired by Dracula who happens to be a vampire. And there's all these things about what a vampire is. And he's trying to move his estate and his manor to a new estate manor. And there's a whole story right around that. It's so simple what makes a great story. It really is. I mean, not exactly, but you know, it's simple when you know what you're doing, right? Um, in the end, it's really simple. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to dilute what it is, you know, what, what the process of storytelling is. But when you know what you're doing, it's so simple. It's so But then you have these freaking clowns who have no business popularizing their ideas and then they go out of their way and they try to invade everything and honestly right why are we here right now talking about all of this i'm seeing these trailers so far and i'm just not i'm not i'm not fascinated by anything and it sucks because right now we have diluted and we have really squashed 
all of the value within a lot of American media that used to be so good. Now it's absolute dog trash. And I'm just looking at this and I'm going to be honest. I'm happy with what I see here because what I'm seeing here is that it's a white person's property. Okay, we're not getting a lot of those anymore. And hopefully this is another one, uh, another game out of out of the very few that have actually been white people stuff. Um, hopefully this game is a white person's game. Okay, just flat out. It, we should not even be clown world, man. Oh my, this shouldn't even have to be said. Let's put it differently here. Let's just... We just want to see American media be American media. That's all we want to see. I'm hoping that this is actually going to be legitimate American media here as a game. I'm hoping to see an American creation, an American framework to this creative product. That's what I'm hoping to see. I want to see the American DNA embedded to this product. That's what I want to see. And it's really that simple. Um, and, and my biggest problem is like, okay, if we start getting American media again, here's my other concern. When are we going to get good American media again? Because we need to be hiring the right people, not only doing the right things and honoring the freaking culture of what is America, what is, right? Um, what do they call it? Uh, Americana, right? That's what they used to call it. Well, now that's dead now, whatever the frick Americana used to be. But if we can ever get back to proper Americana, I'm just hoping that we start hiring the best so that we start getting the best that we can have. It, it feels like it's not that much to ask for, but apparently it is a lot to ask for. Again, so far in this game, I don't see any diversity here. this trial. Perhaps. Interesting. Hold on a minute. Um, actually, let's go a little bit slower on that. See, this, this is absolutely going to be another one of those games where you think that everyone's non-diverse, right? And they're trying to allure you. They're trying to lure you in. And then, of course, what do they do? They throw in all of the diversity once you play the game, right? Jedi Survivor did this. They threw in all the diverse people two hours into the game. So most people, when they see the first two hours... Which, I mean, most people who are checking out a game before buying it, they're checking out the first two hours. So, all you see in the first two hours is uh, Cal Kestis. He's a white guy. Okay. And then he meets with this dude who's apparently an Indian dude or whatever. I think he's Indian. But he looks really racially androgynous. So, you think, okay, maybe a white guy, but not really. You can't really tell what he is. Um, but you meet him like 30 minutes into the game or whatever, or an hour. I forget. But they, they slow drip the diversity. And then once you're five hours in, you know, you got this freaking Jedi Master who's a black chick and no one cares about her. But here we are. Then you got all these other diverse people littered all over the place. Feminism out the freaking wazoo. That game doubles down on the wokeness once it's past the time to which people consider a game before buying it. Because they want to trick you into buying their game. And that's the same thing for this. They're not showing you any diversity. Well, gee, I wonder once I pick up the game, am I going to see a lot of diversity? I wonder. So far, I don't see any of it, but who knows? You might become one of us. Again, man, I, I, want, I want good stories, though, again. It's been so long since we've ever gotten good stories.
It's been such a long time. It's freaking unbelievable. Our world, I did not enjoy this game, man. So, so many people that have nothing better to do with their time love this game. The air quotes on love, I mean, frick. Who actually loves this game? I don't know. What the? Hold on. Okay, hold on, bro. So the dude can be okay. See, this is what this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, th this is just messed up. So the dude can be topless, right? But the freaking female cannot be topless. Just saying, bro. Messed up. Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's launching today. Yeah, on the that is totally console. not a woman, by we the way. We all know that's not a woman. Starting what with a return, freaking joke. RPGs ah, we live in clown. What, what's your job? Hold on, hold on, you freaking be, uh, whatever you are. Ugh, director, director. You're a director, head of portfolio? Are you kidding? What, what's, what, what the frick is portfolio? What the frick is portfolio? This is why gaming is just dying. Open this is why. What a freaking joke. Console. What a freaking joke. Mental illness. Mental illness. I'm, I'm, nope. From the original nope. Mental Your illness. Dreams, Mental fall. illness. All, All right. Let, uh, let, let's just, let's, let's breeze right Lunar through this trash. I don't want to, no, I don't care. Lunar Remaster Collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete, and Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete, with updated visuals, white screen mode, and more. Instantly we see it, the time to be Whoa, 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 hold up. White screen mode and more. That's a woman right there. Oh, that that is a woman. Holy crap, that is that is XX chromosomes right there. What is up? Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in spring 2025. Two updates on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. First, the Radical Reptiles DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko and Mona Lisa as playable characters. And for no extra cost, a remixed in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. Both of these updates arrive later today. Yep. Marvel, yeah, as if it. Oh, uh, what? Uh, Shadow. Okay. And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? Movie. This update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog. Movie okay. Movie okay. Seven. Who? What is this thing about Keanu Reeves? Why is everyone jerking off every time they hear Keanu's name? Like, it's a freaking actor, bro. I, I, I. It, Bro, there, there are some really like astroturfed freaking things out there. I mean, I will say this right now. There's that whole freaking Hawk Tua thing. That is such astroturf. Who the frick actually believes that that's a legitimate trend? For two set, some chick just makes a weird phrase for blowing a dude's freaking pee pee. Okay. What, what the frick? Uh, again, the the astroturfing is so real. Keanu is freaking astroturfed. None of this stuff is legitimate. Why the frick do people worship the guy? What the frick is wrong with people, man? By the way, I mean, of course, why do people also dress up their freaking animals like they're children? Why do people treat freaking animals like they're human beings? Mental illness. Well, the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition. No, I'm sorry. There's a lot of people out there who treat animals better than freaking human beings. Mental illness. Also, it's childless behavior as well. Childless behavior. Well, that guy looks like he makes games. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's like one of the few dudes that actually deserves his freaking job. What the frick? Yo, what's up, girl? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> We're just over a month away from the release of Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. Let's check in with oh, the oh, Arts. Screw that game. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so bad. Bioware, you're dead. We've gotten word from the wardens. Have they found Gideon? Not yet, but they found something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one cares. Oh, look. Wouldn't miss it. Brave and beautiful diversity. I love it so much. Yeah, you're dead to me. You're dead to me, Dragon Age. You're dead. 
So we challenge her. Draw the dragon out into the open. Then attack. Woke freaking dog trash. Just you and me now. Everyone, get ready. Well done. It's just ready a bunch of freaking women in power positions. Oh, I'm done. I'm so done. Man, they just make fantasy so lame. I hate this trash. Yeah, who cares? Whatever, bro. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick moment to just say this. Gaming has been sort of getting better recently. Not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be crazy with this. I'm just saying that we've gotten a few good things recently, right? Black Myth, Wukong. We got Space Marine 2. We got Stellar Blade. We got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Although that game is just a freaking joke based on story and all the homosexual nonsense that they pushed in there. You know, and I, you know, my final review for that game, I'm going to lay into that freaking stuff. Yes, the final review is taking forever to get to. Anyway. But right now, we're getting some games that are better, for the most part. Now, we need... Okay, what they should have done with the freaking Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is that they should have given us a freaking shower scene of Tifa and Aerith. Because they literally, before going to the beach, they take a shower, but we don't get to see them in the mother effing shower. What the frick? Put women in showers again, okay? Put freaking sexy women in video games back into freaking showers. And by the way, I have a freaking video on this. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know when most of my videos are coming out. But anyways, it's coming out at some point. Coming up soon. Or, uh, air, okay, air quotes on soon. Anyways, there's a video that's going to be coming out on that, okay? I, I want it to be soon. We're going to see because we got a bunch of other videos to do. Anyway. Put women back in showers, okay? Triss Marigold has, has a freaking pool scene in freaking Witcher 2. We need to put women back in the freaking shower, okay? You know, this is the thing. Everyone wants to say, put the women back in the freaking kitchen. I say, you put the mother effing females back in the freaking shower. This girl boss, I, I like, I'm, I'm so, man, oh, hold up, hold up, all right, fine, 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 you know what, I, I might be thumbnail farming right here, wow, wow, that is a long cast off, what the frick, okay, and then it teleports you into a cutscene. I, I, I feel nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah, cool. A, a, a female that looks like a freaking man. Yeah, thank God we have a freaking female warrior. If this came out 15 years ago, there would only be men on the freaking fighting force. Nowadays, because... Brave and beautiful freaking diversity trend of modern day that for some reason we're going through this freaking hellacious period of freaking media. Hopefully this comes to an end. I'm hoping. Nowadays, we're such freaking clowns. We're like, oh, women should be on the fighting force. Screw you. Get, get the women off the freaking fighting force. I mean, it, enough with feminism in general. Men and women should not share, or just in general, they should not be in the same freaking workforce. Enough with this freaking crap. You know, if, if there's no greater expression of the fact that men and women should not be in the same workforce, 
is when hashtag freaking me too and all that dog trash happened when freaking me too happened that freaking dog crap should have just they're in and they're out we should have determined men and women no longer on the same freaking workforce done that means get the freaking chicks out okay but how many dudes you have no idea man over the last couple of years now ever since freaking me too how many men who are at the pinnacle of their game in their industry i'm talking about astrophysicists i'm talking about biologists i'm talking about freaking quantum physicists i'm talking about men in multiple different industries they've all been canceled out of their jobs and nobody ever heard about it you know except for me and a couple of other people very few people know about these dudes who got their jobs taken from them. They were at the top of their game. They were head researchers, professors. They got their freaking jobs taken from them. And who, who were they replaced by? Some DEI retard. That's who they were replaced by. Some freaking female. They got replaced by some freaking minority. They got replaced by somebody that did not deserve the freaking job. This dude was doing a good job, but for some reason, you notice something interesting. When these guys are white males, they get canceled every freaking time i wonder why it is disgusting it is vile it is pure evil nobody wants to talk everybody loves to preach about freaking morality all freaking day long but nobody wants to talk about the evil of taking the jobs from these men and specifically these men who worked many years to get to their position and then they get removed because of some freaking random allegation. And we've seen a lot of allegations and how weaponized those are. Jeez Louise, it's like 5% of freaking allegations happen to be correct. It's freaking nonsense. Well, if they're correct, you know, and then we don't even know if anything, you can have an allegation, but nothing wrong was actually done. Anyways, it's just freaking nonsense. There's so many men who were who worked their tails off for where they got to and they got slaughtered by that freaking phony dog crap called hashtag me too so many of those men and now they're no longer doing their work now they're no longer doing their research and you know nobody ever thinks about how much that disrupts economy and how much that disrupts these industries right the universities have been massively disrupted and nobody talks about it. you understand a lot of studies now come out of universities and they're absolute bogus dog crap now nowadays because we're we're hiring freaking dog crap people specifically dei morons to replace white men that's what we're doing nowadays and that's where we're at now we have replaced so many men in the science fields the math fields history psychology of course we know that gaming we've replaced a lot of dudes white white men in gaming how many men do we have to freaking go through and replace their freaking jobs and give it to some mother effing minority or some freaking female this is wrong this is evil and what is happening right now specifically in america but any westernized country this is happening in europe too europe is having these same problems by the way a part of esg is to do what to uplift female owned businesses i want you to understand this one more time female owned businesses that is the point the purpose of esg is to uplift female now let's add another qualifier female diverse businesses because right now what they're doing they're trying to uplift a lot of female businesses plus 
black or some kind of melanated business. So specifically, a lot of ESG companies are trying to build up businesses in Africa. They're using American taxpayer dollars to build up businesses, not in America, but in Africa and in Europe, even though they're pillaging Europe at the moment. So that's a really weird dichotomy. But it's other countries outside of that too, by the way. They're building up, and this is through Diageo, this is through Garm, this is through so many of these different branches of ESG. They're going out of their way to prop up women to destroy and brutalize and maim and kill men, white men specifically, and nobody wants to call it out. And yeah, I'm making a video on this too, by the way. Yeah, I'm making a video on it, but this is unbelievable. And this is absolutely unacceptable. We have been seeing this happen for so long. And you notice it's always the allegations. They're always going after white men. Why is that? Why do you think that is? It's freaking ridiculous, man. It's freaking ridiculous. And now we're seeing these industries, the dog crap. I mean, seriously, who gives a crap about these products? No one cares about these products at all. The only thing that's been happening here is that we're replacing those who work well, those who deserve their position within the industry, and we are replacing them based on identity politics. This is wrong. This is evil. And someone needs to call it out because effectively what it is, we are replacing Americans. That's what we are doing. We are replacing Americans. We are pushing a lot of white men to self-deletion. What do you think happens to these men when these all, because there's so many things that they're doing right now to American men, American men, and we already have discussed what is an American male. We are destroying them. And you know what happens when you destroy them? They self-delete. It is another way to murder. We have been murdering in mass white men, American men, in specifically America. And we've been doing the same in Europe. But Europe is, man, I mean, that, there's so many problems going on there. But we've been doing the same thing there. But they have gone the hardest in freaking America. Nobody wants to bring this up or freaking talk about it. And again, I'm making a freaking video on this trash. Because this is a freaking enough. This is enough. And that, that, that's a whole other conversation. Like, we could go even longer. Let's just keep going. Gilane. I don't feel anything for this. I don't give a crap. Female freaking warrior. Who cares? A female, female enemy boss. Okay. Jeez Louise, bro. What a joke. Yeah, strong woman. Wow. I I'm so fed up with this. Who cares? Who literally cares? What the frick? Oh my gosh. It's only coming out on PlayStation. I did not know this that. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. Yeah, Alan, uh, Alan frickin' feces, too. The research department set up a facility. The lake house. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, oh, I just kept on driving. Oh, control. I, I literally... Bro, I literally thought that this was Control. Oh my god. Like, I was like, dude, this sounds so familiar. Yeah, it's Control. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Dang, I hated that. That game was such dog trash. What's up with the graphics? Yo, this looks terrible. Whatever. This looks like Hitman to me. I'm going to imagine it is. Yeah, it is. What the 
frick? What the? Oh my gosh, these freaking silly ads, man. If you know the truth, I stood with Cain and my brethren until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. What the frick? What madness is this? Am I so changed? I was not prepared for a lady on this threshold. What the The future has always been written. Don't fight it, Rassia. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remastered arrived December 10th. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the say that's release. good. I, you sure we can't I don't know. The Maybe it is. Also the spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It brings atmosphere nah, to screw it, man. I, I've heard people say that the Thrawn trilogy was good. And that freaking crap stuck. Stunk to high heaven. What a freaking terrible trilogy. The Thrawn tr Thrawn is an absolute mother effing joke. Grand Admiral, my freaking Anus. PS5 and PS4. It all it is. It's egalitarian liberal catnip. That's all that character is. Literally, you're, you're just riding a diversity hire to be the best general of the freaking empire because you just want a diversity hire to be the best of the best in the empire so that then your freaking readers jerk off. They're like, oh my god, I, know, I always knew that diversity could always outbeat the empire in all of its white, white grand admirals. Oh my god, the bigots. They were proven wrong this time around. Golly, it's so freaking pathetic. But when you actually read it, it's like, yo, Thrawn is a freaking joke. This guy's getting defeated all freaking series long. Every single book, the guy's getting defeated. All, every single book, the guy's a freaking loser. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's just, it's literally just liberal catnip. It's just so that everyone can feel like, oh, look, you can be a diverse individual and you can be the best even in a fascist. Oh, okay, it's not, it's not fat. The empire, by the way, is not fascist, but you know, that's what people want to say it is, right? They want to act like it's a fascist empire that's super ethnocentric and blah, blah, blah. Which, oh, it's just shut up. Love of God. It, it's such made up freaking horse crap. Or on the Thrawn trilogy. Absolute dog trash. Just go home, Viv. I'm happy here. <laughs> so happy. At last, we've returned to our ancestral land, Agasma. Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agasma. Why am I here? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to. What the frick? Who wants to buy this? Who the frick wants to buy this? It's not interesting. Oh my gosh. Epic Games brings a split screen mode to Lego Fortnite this October. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. And another Fortnite news. The new Fortnite limited edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year with pre-order starting October 3rd. Visit PlayStation blog for more details. Ugh, Next, screw you, Fortnite, you suck. Warriors Origins, and Koei Tecmo Games is ready to share the release date. Let's take a look. Another Dynasty Warriors game? Okay. You have peace. You have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Until then, you must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go forth. Here's my biggest issue with the Dynasty Warrior games. I've loved some of the games, but they severely lack on innovation. There's a bunch of ways they could improve their games, and they refuse to do it. And then it needs to be a hero. To strive for justice, but have no I mean, this is one of the worst IP franchises where they just literally recycle the content every time. It's like, basically, we're going to have some of the same maps. We're going to recycle it in a lot of ways with a lot of the assets, but then we're going to add like one or two variations. I mean, I think I remember, I think it was Dynasty Warriors 7 to 8. They literally didn't change almost anything. They just made subtle alterations as i remember um man i mean uh, uh, and that that's what turned me off to the freaking series is the fact that i'm buying your games and you're barely changing anything no way to achieve it. and some of the games they're a freaking downgrade who's this freaking tubster uh, this guy looks like a freaking queer what, what are we doing here down the system without providing an alternative is near wanting destruction <laughs> I don't see any women here. Uh, I have a big problem with this. How sexy are the women? Because I've noticed 
the longer they go with this series, the more they clothe up the women. The women used to be dressed like freaking sexy hookers. Now they're dressed like freaking nuns. Okay, what the frick? Can we, can, we, can we go back to when these women were dressed like freaking hookers? Jeez, like Diao Chan, that freaking biatch who dances around for Lubu. That freaking chick used to be smoking. Now, what the frick? What the frick happened to her? She's now completely clothed up, and now she's like a girl boss or whatever. Freaking A, man. And then um, uh, there was another chick that was typically really hot. I forget her name right now. Man, whoa. Um, what was her name? Yao Wei or whatever. Frick, she was hot. She 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 was blonde, freaking blue eyes, I think. And my gosh, she's freaking stacked, and she was freaking hot. I was down bad for that biatch. Aryan blood. Hold on. I gotta see that. Is that Diao Chan? Uh, yeah, see, we don't know. Uh, she's probably covered up. Oh my god. End my life. The die has been cast. All that remains is to see this through. I'm sorry, um, why are we not telling these Chinese or Japanese? I don't know the difference. Anyway, why are we not telling these guys we need more diversity? Where's all the black people? Where There's not enough white people. I see just a bunch of Asians. That's messed up. What the frick? We need more diversity here in Dynasty Warriors. This is mess. Bigotry. Absolute bigotry. Still hoping that I imagine it's burned into my mind. So, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units. The getting up to? Well, I got morning wood, and you're Mission. it. Mine included. Sit on me, biatch. Oh, this forest is amazing. My fur is built for this kind of weather. That's causing the wildcards to switch too. I think technically and graphically this game's going to be great. I think that outside of that, uh, I think the characters and the story is going to suck absolute freaking balls. This is territory. We're intruders. The freak is this freaking barista, this freaking libtard reading in a freaking coffee shop, freaking hipster, smokes weed every freaking day until she overdoses on it, forever incapacitated, freaking biatch. What is she doing in here? Ew, freaking disgust. Where's my beautiful white women? Where, where's my beautiful Aryan white woman? Where's my Aryan princess? What the freak is this? What the frick is this? So some freaking hipsty do rag freaking white biatch. Put the meat down. Leave this to me. Heal the bell. That's it. The white wraith. Ugh, oh, the, the diversity of these characters. Why do these characters look so ugly too? Jeez, you couldn't give me a freaking female that looks like a freaking stripper? Uh, uh, g give me like some kind of Arabian princess. Give me freaking Jasmine from freaking Aladdin. Give me that biatch. What are we doing? G give me a freaking hooker. It's real. You know, the, the hooker that they reserve for the princes and the kings. That, that, that hooker. Not, not, not the hooker in the brothel. I, I mean the hooker in the palace, okay? After. You gotta be very clear on these things. The white wraith. What the frick? Down there. Someone 
Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is who, oh my gosh, is that the name? That's the voice of freaking Zephyr from Tales of Arise. How how do I always catch these freaking voice actors? Is it is it that easy? I don't know. Anyways, that literally sounds like the voice actor for Zephyr. I hate that freaking game, by the way. Freaking Tales of Arise. By the way, right now, uh, wait, is this video? I think this video is coming out after that review. Dude, that review, the, the impressions review, that freaking video, I freaking released that video seven to eight months after recording it. Holy crap. Frick. It took me a long time to finally get through that trash, but we finally did it, okay? We got a bunch of other videos to do, but anyways, screw Tales of Arise. Go check out that video. I think it came out after this one. I don't know. Anyways, it's coming out sometime soon. An extinct species. Hunter, you've got a weapon, and you do nothing? Give it to me! And I'll... I'll... Is that a girl? Is that a freaking girl? Oh my gosh, enough with the freaking androgynous people. Oh my gosh. What the F are we doing? Okay, well that's coming out. At some point. Yeah, yeah, no hookers. There's no hookers in that book. I don't care. Listen, if you're gonna make a freaking art book for your freaking game, I might as well be looking at a whole freaking series. It might as well be a freaking Playboy magazine. What the frick? Why am I spending money for this? Listen, bro. Listen. Come on, bro. We all know that you want to say a slur. Just freaking do it. Just say a slur. Just say something. Okay? You can use the N word. Uh, you can call white people the mayo monkey, okay? Say something, bro. Just, just I know you want to call your own people. <laughs> He's reading off the teleprompter, and he just throws out a random slur at his own people. Oh my god, that would be amazing, bro. Please just do it. Just do it, man. Ah, you know he wants to do it. He wants to. He's... He's begging for it. Chompers. Okay, Trails, what's on cheats? I'll let start. A hunter with a mysterious past and her uh, very heroic friend are all that stands in the way of an unspeakable evil. Join them as they explore, hunt, collect whitey outfits, and decorate their village. Nail it. This is awesome. All right, there's more. With the digital deluxe edition, you get this exciting uh, blue roller thing. That's nasty costumes, like the Shadow Skullboard outfit. Uh, uh, Nobody I cares about this. Nobody that. cares about <laughs> alloy. Nobody <laughs> cares about some feminist <laughs> freaking biatch <laughs> that isn't dressed <laughs> like a <laughs> sexy <laughs> hooker. <laughs> Bro, I, I am so find. down. So what the frick is this? Uh, get women, get women out of the workforce. Just stop. They're they're all obese. They look disgusting. Just enough is enough. Anyways, if Alloy, you understand this, bro. I'm super down bad. Okay, I mean I'm down bad for you know pretty much most brands are female. But anyways, I'm super down bad. I think I don't really know because the Aryan princess right now is definitely in contestion for the number one spot but sometimes i'm super down bad for okay screw it anyways i'm super down bad for gingers some of the time not all the time because then there's the aryan princess but then there's also the 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 uh the jet black haired chicks i'm also down bad for those anyways freaking gingers bro you could have made i am so down bad for gingers and yet for some reason you can't give me a freaking red-headed Hooker looking, freaking sexy biatch, looking like a Triss Marigold on steroids. You know, female steroids where her boobs get really large. Anyways, you can't do that. What the frick are we doing here? Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero Dawn, is being remastered for PS5 and PC. Oh, like what the? What the? Oh my god, what the frick is this? What the F? What the frick? 
the frick is that? What the frick are the faces on these freaking people? What the frick is that? Oh, whoops, that's their... Oh, no, that's, that's not... No, no, that, that, Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, oh. What the? What is that? Oh, oh my gosh. What? That might just be the thumbnail right there. Holy crap. Holy. What the frick? When you have women like this in the gene pool, why does the human race continue on? You might as well just give it up, bro. It's so... There's no... No. 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 I would just say it's done. It's done. I'm not... Nope. Not sticking in it. It's not going in that. Nope. Nope. Listen, I'm only taking the finest of breeds, and I'm going to breed with that, okay? And when I breed with that, we're going to have beautiful children so that the next generation is also beautiful. What the frick are we doing here? Who the frick is selecting themselves with this? What the frick? Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero no Dawn, one cares. is being remastered no one cares. for PS5 and PC No one cares about butt-faced Aloy. Horizon no one cares Zero about Dawn her butt-faced freaking friends. Hours Ew. Of re -recorded Disgusting. Conversation and countless graphical improvements that bring the game to the same visual fidelity as Horizon Forbidden West. No. Aloy? Alloy, I want you to do something right now. For one, I want the creative director to f figure out, sorry, creatively figure and design their own demise. And then I want them to figure out a way to get Alloy to freaking uninstall herself. Alloy, I need you to do this one thing for me. Uninstall yourself. This new version of Horizon Zero Dawn will arrive October Gross. 31st. Disgusting. And anyone who owns the original PS4 version of the game will be able to upgrade to the new what PS5 version What the frick are you doing with your life? Look at the freaking body fat Visit on you. Blog for what more are you and watch doing? The trailer to see all the enhancements to Aloy's epic quest. What a freaking clown world. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, new content oh. is on the way to the Hold up. World. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, I need this. Yeah, that's it right there. Wow. Shoot. You know, I have not come out with the full review yet for this game, by the way. It's gonna happen. It just takes a long time to finish, you see. It, it, it just takes forever to finish, but... Um... Wow. Oof. No, we couldn't get a shower scene. We couldn't get a shower scene with Eve and Tacky. We couldn't get a shower scene with Eve and Tacky. You're telling me the, the two of them couldn't figure out how to get, find a shower because, uh, you know, what, what happens when you go through battle? You get really sweaty, right? So it just makes sense. We need to find a, a pool or a pond nearby. There's plenty of them in uh, the, uh, the starting area of the game. So, okay, we just find a, a, a pond somewhere. And, and, you know, you take off your clothes, okay? Eve, Tacky, you take off your clothing. That's what you do next. Okay, what are we doing here? Genuine question. What the frick? New content is on the way to the action-packed world of Stellar Blade. Wow, so they're okay. A new, new photo content. Mode lets players oh, set up the thank perfect God. Picture with your choice of poses, expressions. Okay, and the, listen, bro. No one is selecting that outfit. You know it. I freaking know it. Put her, put her in a freaking hooker outfit. Whichever one was the most hooker of all. Put her in the freaking hooker outfit. What are we doing? Oh, dang. Oh man, uh, man. 
This is how you know that these freaking people are so, so freaking cocked out of their freaking heads. Look at the freaking... She's wearing a freaking trash bag, and Eve is fully dressed like she's gonna work on a freaking farm. What the frick are we doing here? No, put put Eve and her freaking... I'm about to get freaking strung out by a freaking... By a freaking... By a freaking linebacker uniform, all right? Where the frick is the uniform? Put her in the freaking right uniform. This is not the correct uniform for Eve, okay? Who's gonna rail her when she's dressed like that? And Lucy, what the frick is going on with Lucy? Put her in a freaking hooker uniform. What are we doing here? Give me my shower scene. That you wanna know? You wanna know how you don't screw up this freaking f showcase here? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this for you right now, Sony. This is how you 10x your freaking profits. I'm about to share it with you. You freaking queers. Okay? Are you ready for it? PlayStation, Sony. I'm about to do something for you. I'm, I'm about to make you money for free, you freaking clowns. Because you can't do it for yourself. So here I am. I'm granting you a gift. I'm about to tell you how to make some freaking money, you freaking clowns. Here we go. You announce a shower scene that you forgot to add when you originally made the game, okay? You announce a shower scene for Tacky, Lucy, and Eve. Then you say there's a photo mode. End of the story. You will 10x your freaking profits, and here you are, you're being a bunch of freaking raging homosexuals. What the frick is this? And Cellar Blades Where's my shower scene? Give me my shower scene. Original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs. From yeah, the I had decent music. I, I liked the, the music was alright. This song. This song. Some of the music played way too much, like over and over again, but the music was overall pretty good. But that's not all. Is that shower scene? 2B somehow ends up in the game. That is hilarious because there's this whole thing about the, uh, the, I think the game director for this game, he, uh, he was like severely inspired oh hold up <laughs> holy crap he was severely inspired by near automata so i guess now we're getting 2b in this game but listen i mean it doesn't mean anything without a shower scene okay give me the mother effing shower scene sci-fi worlds collide in the stellar blade and near automata collaboration i mean that's cool though stellar blade later this i'm kind of down bad for that I loved Nier Automata. I wonder if I made a review for Nier Automata back when the game came out and I played it, I wonder what that would have been like. Um, I have a lot. Oh my God, dude, that ending. Oh gosh. That, I mean, that would have been probably one of the longest videos on my channel. Let's just be honest. I mean, I have a lot of long videos. Okay, sorry. I mean, the longest review it would be it would have definitely ended up as the longest review because there's so freaking much about near automata that game was crazy not perfect though i'll tell you that freaking a again there's no shower scene so now i'm gonna go end to myself real Plus. quick First, your monthly games for October are WWE 2K24, right. Dead Space, right. and Doki Doki Literature Club. All right, why Plus. am I here? Why These am I here? These will be available to all PlayStation Plus members starting I thought there was going to be more to this. I, I, I don't know why I'm here anymore. Two more fan favorites from the original PlayStation arriving later this year. Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, and Capcom's Dragon Crisis. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, no, no one cares about this. It, it's for homosexuals now. It's over. It's over. It's all over. All right, I think that's it. I don't see anything else. Oh, and then there's this. Yeah, that's right. Should I just... I should just skip to it, right? Oh, hold on. Let, let's see a little bit of this. Alongside several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, okay. Forget it. Alright. So, Laundry call. Oh. Let's dig deep, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stench.
We are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. Okay, fine. I'll do the full for okay, okay. We're not gonna speed through. This is the announcement of Ghost of Yotai. And there's some problems with this one. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I'm going to make a separate video on this outside of this showcase, but okay, let's just go through this. Yes, okay, okay, let's just we cut to the chase. They girl boss, they girl the boss, this freaking uh, franchise that they've made with Ghost of Tsushima. We literally have a female samurai. What a freaking joke. Come north Absolute joke. Disappear. Freaking joke, freaking joke. Again, 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 if games coming out 15 years ago, if this came out, 15 years ago, we wouldn't have a female samurai unless she looked like Rachel, Momiji, or Kasumi in freaking Ninja Gaiden. That's the only way we would be getting a freaking female as a samurai is if they're dressed like a freaking hot slut and just an absolutely sexy freaking hooker. And then on top of it, um, you know, it, um, we, we, we make them desirable in every way possible. Anyways, those women are freaking hot. And also, Ayane, or how are, I don't know how you say her name. Ayane? Anyway, that chick, the pink-haired biatch with a humongous breast. They're all freaking hot. I love them all. I love them all. But you... You... Are hunting... And now, every ronin here is after you. Yes, after a woman. A woman who's beating these men in combat. Okay. Still think yeah. you're yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, love it. Oh, man, I'm in love. I love this so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. 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 That's good stuff right there. Wow, brave and beautiful. Brave and beautiful. I'm so down bad. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's just great. That's so good. Wow. Wow. Such wow. So brave. So beautiful. Man, I love that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so good, man. I freaking love it. I am so done with feminism. This era of feminism that we're going through, which I'm hoping we put to freaking death. I'm so freaking fed up with feminism. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's gonna go up against all those freaking men. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, dual cut, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yep, mm hmm yeah, some, some, some freaking. Clown world, absolute clown world. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In this in this game about like Japanese people or whatever, um, w w where's all the white people? W w where's all the the Pakistanis? Oh no, where's all the the black people? The where's my Na Nigerian princes? Where wh 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 where where where's all the diversity? I, that's weird. Why why are we not demanding diversity from this woke feminist game? Huh? 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 That's weird. Why is it that only in American media we always say that we need diversity? That's really strange. Why is it that whenever a game is about a white man, we have to for some reason get rid of the white man? Oh, that's weird. That's really strange. Anyway, 
Um, you know what? Do I just cut this out and just make a separate video for this? I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I have to say, I guess. I mean, well, not really. Anyways, uh, screw this. It's just literally an excuse to hijack a franchise with feminism. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. Women are not samurais. Women are not Vikings. Women are not pirates. Women are none of these things that men were predominantly fulfilling the roles thereof throughout history. This is clown worlds. This is absolute clown worlds. Nauseating bullcrap. Nauseating. What a freaking joke. Anyway. All right, guys. That's the end of it. Uh, we just went through the whole showcase. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to just go figure out a way to uninstall myself.